You were with him the last time you, you were? were here. You're flying solo this time, and he sent you a message. Did he? Yeah, here you go. Hi, Tills. It's your favourite chef here. Good luck today. More importantly, do not burn anything. And remember, you learn everything from me. Give me a plug, please. <laughs> is that true? Do, do, is it all of this, has this all come from sort of being inspired and watching him? Um, and Mum as well. It's not just him, but he likes to think <laughs> it is. Because his, his is much more, I suppose, complex, a little bit, a little bit posher. But yours, you're very specific. It's easy to make this for your age group. Yeah, it's a lot easier than his because my recipes are kind of like, if you don't have one of the ingredient, ingredients, it's not a big deal. But with Dad's, if you don't have one of the ingredients, like, it doesn't work as well. So mm. his is a lot more fussy. Right. And this is, this is the book here, uh, Tilly's Kitchen Takeover. And I was having a look through it. And what's really nice is that at the beginning, it shows you how to... It's like simple things. And I guess you've got to learn somewhere. It, like, shows you how to chop an onion. Mm -hmm. And it shows you how to cut sort of um, uh, herbs and things like that. So it really is for children to, to start right at the beginning. Yeah, definitely. Because not everyone knows the basics. And without them, you can't do it as well. Yeah. So it's easier so they can see as well. What's yeah. your favourite thing to make? I love to bake and I love to make loads of stuff, really, yeah. anything. What are you going to cook for us today? My all-American chilli. This is just softened onions and garlic mm -hmm. in the pan. And it's really good. You don't want to burn these because if you burn them, it'll taste really bitter. Yeah. So you've got to take time on these. Like Everyone thinks it's the easy bit, but it's really not. So this is the important foundation. Yeah, like. definitely. And then... Beef mints. Yeah. I'm going to add this in. Get that all in there. And how long do you cook that for? Like, and when you say sort of, because I read it in books, they say, oh, brown the mints off. And so, how brown does that have to go? So, it has to get a nice brown colour. You'll definitely be able to tell when it's ready, but you don't want it to burn. And you also want to make sure there are no lumps in it. Okay. Because if it's lumpy, then it's not all going to cook evenly. So. Okay. So, you just keep kind of chopping it up with your wooden spoon there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just got to keep going like this and mixing it around. See, it's already going brown on the top. Yeah, it changes quite quickly, doesn't it, that? Yeah. OK, so what's your next step? So then after this, you want to add in the tomato paste. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And are you a spicy person? Do you like it to be quite hot, or are you...? No, I really don't like spice, whereas my brother and Jack love... Do they? My brother and Dad love spice. Yeah. So what do you do there then? Do you just give them an extra bit of chilli to be able to sprinkle on the top if they want theirs to be hotter? Well, it depends who's making it. Like if Mum's making it, she'll she knows that I really don't like it, and my yeah. sister Megan doesn't like it either. How's she feeling? Didn't she um, yeah. run the marathon yesterday? She's very tired this morning. I but bet she's, she's she's up and walking, which I'm surprised at. Wow. She so did really right. well. So yeah. let's assume that that's all done. That is yeah, what you have to do sadly on the telly. So we'll assume that that's all ready. Add in your tomato Last paste. Here and it goes. Yeah. And what, um, what sort of, uh, what, what are your bits and pieces here? So then you add in your tin tomatoes as well. Yeah. Okay. Give that a big whiz around. Give it another stir. Mm -hmm. Shift that for you. What about Thank your spices? You. And then when you've got go chilli powder and cumin. Yeah. Which go in together. And so I only like a little bit of chilli powder. How much do you guys like? Yeah, whack it in. I okay. Quite, I quite, I've sort of, as I've got older, I've got better. I never could eat anything spicy. I've sort of weaned myself onto it slowly. Really? Because my husband loves really spicy food. But I'm, and you, you can build the tolerance for it. I used yeah. to be rubbish at the beginning of You did, of yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, it's, it's it, it, over quite a short space of time, yeah. really. I know. All right, and then what happens? And then add in your stock. I'm using beef stock, but you can use vegetable or chicken as well. Mm-hmm. And see, Dad just puts in so much chili powder, so I just I let Mum cook when it's when he's That's at home, because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> she knows what we like. And so, but he's also he's a really fussy eater. Is he oh, fussy? Is he? Well, with my food, yeah, with his spices, he's fussy. Is he? Yeah. So does he does he ever do like the telly thing and go, oh, this is terrible? Sometimes, if I don't put enough seasoning in, but I do that to him as well. Is he quite tough on you, then? He's really Lovely. tough on me, yeah. Is he? He definitely is. That's hilarious. So what happens next? So then you leave this for about half an hour to 40 minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we've got one here that's been cooking for half an hour. Mm. And so this is really easy. Ooh, well, thank you. Look at that lightning reactions, like a ninja <laughs> in the kitchen. And then it looks like this. Oh, my gosh. Yum. And then there's only... Would you mind to chop the spring onions, please, Bella? Oh, okay. oh look at that. You just like you I was over here. I was getting, getting a spoon. Do you, would you mind to grate the How cheese finely? Well, please? I can um, grate the like cheese. Like little circles, please. Little circles. Thank you. And then you just add in your kidney beans. Yeah. 
How much of this started. cheese do you need, Tilly? Um, how much would you like on the top? Loads. OK, well then, loads. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just stir this through. Yeah. How's she doing, Mum? She doing all right? She's doing great. Well I'm done. I'm proud, Till. Yeah. OK. OK, there's your... Thank you. There's a bowl just there for you, little one. Bring onions. Thank da, you. Da, 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 da. And okay. um, usually this is served with rice, but I like to serve it with cornbread, and in America they do cornbread. That's where I got it from. Right. And it's really simple. You just have your wet ingredients, like the buttermilk, the milk, the eggs, in one bowl, and then the dry ones in another bowl, which is like the corn flour, the flour, the sugar, the baking powder, and then you just... Mix it all together. And you come out with something like this. There you go. You want oh, a little I bit of that. I see what you're doing. A little, bit, a little, of little that, bit of that. A little bit of that. Can we, can I? Go for it now. Thank you. And I'm going to try a bit of this cornbread. I don't think I've ever had cornbread. It's quite an American thing. Mm. Like, not many people in London have had it. It's crunchy. There's a little crunches in there. Is that, that's mm. the, um... Mm, lovely. Mm -hmm. mm. And a really nice change as well from just having rice. Yeah. Nice. Mm. <laughs> Proper food. Delta. That's lovely. Thank you. you did thank him you, proud. Thank you, mm. thank you, you very did very much. Mum's going, phewy. <laughs> Everything fine.